Let me get these handcuffs off you. Let me get the handcuffs off you. Put it on me. The first cuff. Let me get them off you. Let me get the handcuffs off of you. Will you let me get the handcuffs off? I'm gonna show you your fucking face. No, yeah, I swear to fucking God, I am. Let me get the handcuffs off you. You fucked the wrong one. Yes, I promise to God. We gotta go before you get arrested. Who? You. Fuck you. Get out. That hurt. Did that hurt, pussy? No, you stupid dumbass. Wait, no, stop it! Stop it! Later! Stop it! Later, Alan! Stop it! Now! Stop it! God! Oh my God! These are some photos of injuries that Ryan Allen shared to her Facebook page. If she specified where these injuries came from, I did not see it, but I speculate that they are injuries that came from that night. Man, Truman Police Officer Brett Williams just cannot stay out of the news today, so I actually have two articles that I'm going to discuss. I like the first one better, so I'm going to talk about that one first. Apparently, yesterday on Monday, February 19th at 8.02 p.m., Jonesboro police officers were dispatched to an address in Jonesboro regarding stolen property. So when they got to that address, they talked to someone who had found stolen law enforcement property, a law enforcement laptop, and some textbooks. They say the laptop was open, and it looked like someone had tried to stomp on it to break it. But they were able to get shoe prints and fingerprints. The article goes on to say that it was later determined that the items belonged to Brett Williams, the Truman police officer and murderer of Hunter Allen. So around 9 p.m. they met up with Brett. Brett was like, yeah, my truck got broken into. There's surveillance footage showing four juveniles uh, walking near where Williams' truck was parked and then one of them carries away his stolen backpack. There hasn't been an arrest in that case. Now, I do want to clarify before anyone gets mad. I do not like thieves. I do not condone stealing. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's like a pack of gum. I don't like stealing. I just dislike murder more. In other news, and honestly a totally expected move by the Craighead County prosecutor, they have decided to not file charges in the murder of Hunter Allen. This doesn't mean that Hunter Allen wasn't murdered. It means that the prosecutor has deemed that his murder was justified. It should come as no surprise that I wholeheartedly disagree with this, but I will review the article. So it was announced today that according to the prosecutor in that district, Brett Williams' actions were lawfully present at the residence. I don't even feel like Brett Williams was lawfully present at the residence. He had no reason to be there. So as we all know, law officers from the Monette Police Department and the Craighead County Sheriff's Office responded for a domestic disturbance on Sunday, February 11th, that night. 
the prosecutor says that the evidence shows that Stephen Hunter Allen attacked Brett Williams and that Brett Williams made several attempts to calm Allen down. But it also goes on to say that Brett Williams tried to leave at least two times and that Allen continued to confront him and physically fight him, including throwing an iron chair at him at least twice. According to witness statements, Hunter Allen threw a chair at Brett Williams a third time and said, you better shoot me or I'm going to unalive you. So Brett Williams put two in his chest. There are so many things about this. First of all, Ryan Allen in her own post said that she knew that Hunter Allen was having a mental health crisis. Brett Williams, Ryan Allen, who is Hunter's wife, and Brett and Ryan's mother went to the house that Hunter was at, which I believe is Hunter's parents' house, right? They followed him over there. Hunter had left the home that he and Ryan shared together because he was having a mental health crisis. He needed to get away. He needed to cool down, whatever. He left. They followed him. They went to go get him to bring him back. So you can't say, I don't feel like you can say, well, I followed him over here. I pushed the issue and pushed the issue and tried to get him to come back home with us. But then also in the same breath say, but he was throwing a chair at me and I tried to leave. You tried to leave after you followed him over there, though? You did that? The third thing is that five minutes went by between the time that Brett Williams called 911 to say that he was locked outside the house and that Hunter was in the house with Ryan, locked inside that house with Ryan. But then he wants to say like five minutes later, he's saying that. Hunter was throwing chairs at him and he tried to leave, but you could have left when you were standing outside on the phone with 911 if you really wanted to get away. And maybe I'm just looking at this in the wrong light and I would be open to feedback on that, but I really feel like the opportunity was there for him to get away. The final thing is that people are going to protect their own, right? Police officers are going to protect police officers. Families are going to protect families. The only people to my knowledge, that were there to give statements are Ryan's family, Brett's family. And I'm not saying whether they told the truth or they lied, but it would be nothing for them to have all told the same story for the purpose of preserving their own family member. So in a situation like this, all of the family members telling the same story, all the witnesses telling the same story, it really doesn't do anything for me to convince me that this is what actually happened and that the shooting was justified. The bottom line is that they followed him over there, they pursued him, and then he winds up dead. Maybe he did throw a chair or two or three. Maybe he did make an outburst. You better shoot me or I'm going to unalive you. That, to me, does not rise to the point of threatening enough to shoot someone not once but twice. If they were so concerned, if he loved Hunter and he just wanted to make sure that no one was harmed, Could he not have shot him in a non-lethal way? I mean, shooting someone in the chest is not a lot different than shooting them in the head. You know what I mean? It's going to kill them almost every time. And this was the video footage that was shared by Ryan Allen. Again, she didn't specify or I didn't see it specified where the footage came from, but I assume that it was that night before Hunter left his home.